I do want to bring up Ashton because I did watch that scene in the car where he tried to like kiss you, which I was like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. You don't just jump. And he did a lot of like inappropriate, uh, you know, grabs here and there. Um, and then all of a sudden you saw this switch and we know he, based off watching the show, he has a short fuse and watching that flip, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you feel in the back seat when he flipped? Were you scared? I wasn't that scared. I was just, I think I was shocked. You know, it was came out of nowhere. I was like, is this really happening? And, um, you know, thank God it didn't go any further. Um, I was just, I think I was just shocked. Yeah, I don't blame you. It was weird. And so do you find um, any accountability on your side for what happened in the car? No, I don't think... Even if I had said anything insulting, which I didn't, I don't think anything warrants violence. So, no. And did you ever get an apology from him? I, not an authentic one. No, I think he's sorry that other people have seen his bad behavior. I think he's sorry because he's embarrassed for himself. I don't think he's sorry because he cares about any mental duress that he may have caused me. True. And then people do talk, are bringing up toxic max masculinity on this show. Like, lots of guys were really kind of um i'm going to use the words beating up but it's not beating up it's just putting down disrespectful to the lot of the ladies this season captain lee did you watch the show and notice that oh it was it was very obvious i thought you know they just uh, they took it to a whole new level and why is that you think lack of maturity you know they're behaving like it's a fraternity and they're spoiled rich kids Right. And do you, Kate, do you think that people are just um, arrogant, disrespectful? I think that Ashton was uh, a, a huge problem because he was the leadership role. He was the one setting the example for the guys on board. And I don't think he really respected the fact. I mean, I do have more stripes than him. Uh, it's just a fact. It's math. Three is more than two. Um, and I, I mean, don't think he loved having a female that wasn't going to hook up with him. So he's like, well, I don't know what purpose you serve in my life. Um, he was just not into me being above him in professional aspect. I mean, they have signs at every zoo says, don't feed the animals. <laughs> and to me, that's what Ashton did all year is just kept feeding the animals. And he was, it was like the blind leading the blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. He did set the tone. He was in a leadership role this season. And so then you saw it wasn't just him. It was some no, of the was, other guys, too. Every every opportunity he got, he was just talking smack. He was like a housewife. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and so now, looking at that, were there other red flags besides that? Or is that enough red flags to warrant a bigger decision, a non-leadership role? Or training in classes to understand... You know, that's where I was at a disadvantage because I didn't get to observe any of this behavior until it was aired on TV. Right. And then all of a sudden I see Ashton acting like a dick. <laughs> I think did Ashton needs him? a lot of management classes. Did you did you have a conversation with him? Since I then? haven't had a personal conversation with him, but I have communicated my thoughts and feelings. He, yeah. he knows exactly how I feel. I think the Twitter verse told him too. I mean, mm -hmm. that's where, you know, one of my spiritual gurus says, you know, sometimes people just need a friend to mirror them or a relationship. Sometimes we need the whole world to mirror and show them, you know, what's the problem. What is there something deeper with Ashton that we're unaware of that is he a um, is this going to be trouble continuing with him or do you give him another chance? I wouldn't know. I won't. I wouldn't, wouldn't, as a captain, I wouldn't you wouldn't. Another chance? No. I don't think he's really sorry. Um, I don't think he's. I don't. I don't get that feeling of sincerity from him, or any remorse, at all. It, it's just not there, and I'm generally a pretty good judge of that.